Good day everyone! This is Alicia M. Paradero from Marcela Timabante National High School, Kauswagan District. It is my privilege to present to you my research entitled Enhancing Learners' Electrical Installation Skills Through Video Demonstration. I am grateful to the Division of Lanao del Norte, headed by Dr. Edalberto L. Oplinaria, the school's Division Superintendent. Dr. Rosemary T. Masisar, Assistant Schools Division Superintendent. Dr. Maria Carmela T. Ablin, SGOD Chief. Dr. Maria Eva S. Edon, CID Chief. And Dr. Bridget E. Abalorio, Senior Education Program Specialist for Planning and Research, for giving me the opportunity to conduct this study to address the challenges faced by the teachers and learners in Marcela Timabenta National High School in this time of pandemic. Education has not been impeded amidst the pandemic faced by the public. Many countries have struggled economically and socially, yet the governments of every country have given the best of their effort to still give a better future in education for the young generation. Marcela Timabanta National High School is not excused in the current situation in education and is challenged on how to deliver the learning competencies to the learners amidst the pandemic. Electrical installation and maintenance is a TVL strand that needs actual performances on electrical installation. According to Croft Terrell in 1915, electrical installation and maintenance needs practical exercise in electrical system, circuits, and electrical installation. It is a big challenge on the part of the teachers to think of alternative ways to deliver quality education in this time of pandemic when students are deprived of learning hands-on activities, specifically in electrical installation. However, the local government unit of Kauswagan, Lanao del Norte, provided the learners with tablets. And it is a challenge on the part of the teachers on how to utilize or maximize the technology in our school. Thus, according to the Institute for Tutorial Development, one innovation in digital education is the use of digital tools and technologies during teaching and learning and is often referred to as Technology Enhanced Learning or TEL. According to Edinburgh 2018, e-learning and exploring the use of digital technologies gave teachers the opportunity to design engaging learning. Since electrical installation and maintenance is a performance-based subject, and the use of self-learning module is not enough for the learners to do the performance tasks. Video demonstration was opted to be used since it can make use of teaching concepts that are practical and which are expounded by a step-by-step -step process. The visual benefits of video make it a potential platform for increasing access to practical demonstrations. According to Ram Logan et al. in 2014, Cooper and Higgins in 2015, students may learn from teachers by viewing close-up demonstrations and having the ability to watch them again if necessary. Furthermore, supplementary video has the effect of enhancing student participation and instructional efficiency, which benefits both students and teachers. A research entitled Learning Through Digital Media Experiments in Technology and Pedagogy, where according to the author, it is not necessary for videos to be long in order to be entertaining. Shorter segments, on the other hand, may place a greater emphasis on careful observation and as a result, comprehension. Through the utilization of technology, Video demonstration come to light in teaching and in learning. It's currently utilized in introducing ideas, lectures, discussions, and updates. According to schools in 2011, video-based materials, especially produced educational videos, 
Documentaries, news, and films appear in many programs lately, and it allows teachers to make and manipulate presentations during a big variety of contexts, which will enhance students' interests and engagement. According to K-2012, it will be utilized in support of practical and conceptual teachings through formats which include lectures, tutorial, and example-based video modeling. Teachers can incorporate multiple sorts of media formats that can be easily integrated in the self-learning module. Video provides the chance for students to require fuller control over their learning both the playability over when it's watched but also as a tool to make video material as a part of their learning. This study aimed to determine the electrical installation skills of grade 11 electrical installation and maintenance senior high students in Marcela Timabanta National High School. Specifically, this study sought to investigate the following research questions. Number one, what is the skill performance of the respondents with the use of self-learning module in terms of installing a circuit combination of lighting and a convenience outlet? Number two, what is the skill performance of the respondents with the aid of video demonstration in terms of installing a circuit combination of lighting and convenience outlet? Is there a significant difference between the skill performance of the TVL students who use self-learning modules and the students who are aided with video demonstration? This study was conducted at Marcela Timabanta National High School in Kalsuagan District, Lanao del Norte, school year 2020-2021. And this was delimited to determine the efficiency of electrical installation skills of the grade 11 electrical installation and maintenance learners through video demonstration. The participant of the study are the class of 42 grade 11 electrical installation and maintenance senior high school learners of Marcella Timabanta National High School. The study used the quasi-experimental research design that collates the outcome of scores through a rubric of the skill performances of students who have the assistance of video demonstration and those who are not. Non-probability sampling or purposive sampling was employed in the selection of the respondents. The class of grade 11 EAM comprises of 42 students, which was equally divided into halves. They were purposively assigned to the respective groups through the pairing of students using their third quarter grades in EAM. The 21 students were conducted to modular learning procedure and the other 21 students were aided with video demonstration. Mean scores in their performance through rubric was used as a formula in the calculation of this study rated by the three teachers who are EIM in situ holder in MTM NHS. It aims to determine the significant difference between the total of the outcome of the performances of the students who were assisted with the use of a video presentation and who were not. In this study, the researcher focuses on the electrical installation and maintenance strand subject as the discussion of this study in determining the efficiency of video demonstration. Moreover, for the sake of the research, just to compare the effectiveness of video demonstration to the existing soft learning module, the research design was utilized. However, after this study, those learners who are in the control group will also experience video demonstration in other learning competencies. For the pre-implementation, the researcher identified the concepts needed for the video demonstration, recorded the video for the electrical installation procedures, and uploaded the researcher-made video in the tablets. For the implementation proper, the class of 42 grade 11 electrical installation and maintenance learners were divided into halves and they were purposively assigned to the respective groups 
through pairing using the third quarter grades in EAM. The 21 students were given self-learning modules and the other half were given tablets that contain video demonstration. For the post-implementation, some of the students' output were submitted ahead of time, on time, and beyond the scheduled date of submission, and were rated by the three teacher raters that are certified EIM in situ holder using the assessment rubric that served as the basis in giving the scores of the students' output. The researchers sought first the approval of the school head of Marcella Timabanta National High School, Kauswagan Danao del Norte, school year 2020-2021, to conduct research studies. Upon the approval, the researcher presented the approved letter together with the letter for the class advisor and to grade 11 EIM parents. Letter of request was also given to the three certified electrical installation and maintenance NC2 holder teachers in Marsala Timabanta National High School for them to be the rater of the student's output. A letter was also given to a TESDA senior specialist to validate the research instrument. Confidentiality and anonymity was observed during the conduct of the study. Names and scores of the respondents were not divulged. This is in line to the observance of the ethics of the research. The research instrument used in the study is the assessment rubric and was validated by the three certified EAM NC2 holder teachers of Marsala Timabante National High School and a Tesla senior specialist. The instrument itself has undergone pilot testing before the implementation of the study. Data were statistically analyzed through the mean scores using the assessment rubric. This measures the totality of the result of the score performances of the students who were assisted with the use of video presentation and who were not. An independent sample t-test was used to determine the significant difference between the averages or means of two independent or unrelated groups. In this study, it will be utilized to compare two different groups with equal variance. For research question number one, what is the skill performance of the respondents with the use of self-learning module? Table 1 revealed that the mean skill performance score of grade 11 EIM using the self-learning module is 17.7143. This means that the participants' skill performance using the self-learning module is good and have been shown to be effective in enhancing student understanding and facilitating their learning, but needs more practice that combines with more readings and reflecting. That is according to Abutar Bosch et al. in 2006, Khalil, Nelson, and Kibble in 2010. For research question number two, what is the skill performance of the respondents with the aid of video demonstration? Table 2 showed that the mean skill performance score of grade 11 EAM using the video demonstration is 24.5714. This means that the participants' skill performance score of the respondents with the help of the video demonstration is excellent. According to Hodges, William, Hayes, and Breslin in 2007, video demonstration conveys information faster and supports a positive impact on students' study habits and enhancing skill performance. It is known that people learn by observing others. For research question number three, is there a significant difference between the skill performance of the students who use self-learning modules and the students who are aided with video demonstration? Data on table three showed that there is a significant difference between the skill performance score of students using the conventional self-learning module and the students using the video demonstration with a p-value of 0.000, 000 
which does not exceed to the 0.05 level of significance. This means that the use of video demonstration is effective in terms of enhancing the skills of the grade 11 EAM students. Using visuals such as illustrations, charts, or actual performances is a strategic application of the multimedia principle and modality principle. People learn better when content is presented with both words and graphics rather than words alone. And words should be presented as audio narration rather than on-screen text. Furthermore, one other study has mentioned that effectiveness of video demonstration as a medium in delivering the lesson found out that video-assisted group performed better than the group without instructional media. The group that has assisted with video lesson did significantly better than the group with not and concluded that video demonstration was an effective means for teaching or learning in schools, according to Ishaka in 2007. Based on the study's findings, the following are recommended by the researcher. Number one, the pedophiles should continue to promote and strengthen the culture of research in basic education and provide guidance in managing research initiatives and capacity building in school level. Number two, school heads should motivate and encourage teachers to make video demonstration to enhance the skill performance of electrical installation and maintenance subject and other TVL strand. Number three, teachers must review all the learning competencies before making video demonstration. Number four, teachers should provide self-made rubrics as an assessment tool to measure the skill performance of the students. Number five, conduct more in-service training on video lesson making. Number six, request the local government unit to provide additional support with high memory storage gadgets. Number seven, future researchers should conduct related studies on other strand, especially in dealing actual performances. Thank you and God bless.